Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, where I teach a class called GPU Programming for Video Games. You can watch the lectures for this class here on YouTube. The first 15 or so lectures are fairly generic background in computer graphics, but after that, I switched to using Unity to explain things. I originally used XNA when I launched the class in 2007, but Microsoft announced plans to discontinue support for XNA, so in 2014 I switched the course to using Unity. Okay, so let's see what people are saying about the current state of the Unity game engine. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we should talk about this. Unity recently announced that they were going to make some changes to their business model. Effective January 1st, we will introduce a new Unity runtime fee that's based on game installs. Now, there's a lot of problems with this, and that's been well documented elsewhere, so I'm not going to get into the details of that here. The details aren't particularly important for what I want to talk about. Now, some folks were defending Unity by passing the spreadsheet around on Twitter or X, whatever it's called now, showing how, in some circumstances, the new Unity pricing is better than Unreal. Now, it may be the case that for some devs in some situations, the Unity pricing is better than Unreal. But that's not the point. The issue is that Unity is applying this retroactively. So you might have published a game 10 years ago, and starting January 1st, you will suddenly be owing some money on installs that you were not expecting to owe. Now, they won't be retroactively applying per install fees to installs before that January 1st deadline, but they are using those installs to determine the eligibility requirements. And Unity's willingness to try to apply this retroactively is really the worst part about the whole thing, because it shows that Unity can't be trusted. They're fundamentally operating in bad faith. Even if they were to roll back all of this now, the way Wizards of the Coast did when they tried to retroactively get rid of the open gaming license, there's nothing really to stop Unity from doing this again in the future. Sure, right now some lines on the spreadsheet might show that Unity is a better deal than Unreal, but what if a year from now Unity decides to multiply all of these fees by a factor of 10? Again, the real sin is making it retroactive. If they said that the per-install fees would only apply to games released after January 1st, 2024, that would at least be vaguely fair because studios could know what it is they're actually comparing. Now, I said vaguely fair because video games can take a long time to make. I'm recording this on September 15th, 2023, and there are a lot of devs who are in the middle of making a game right now, and if they knew this was coming, they probably would have picked a different engine. But now they're sort of stuck. So how does that affect me as an educator? How does it affect my GPU programming for a video games class? In a first-order analysis, none of these professional pricing changes really affect what I'm doing educationally with it at all. It's well-suited for getting shader code running quickly and in a way that's portable. So I can make code, give it to my students, and I know if it runs on my machine, it will run on their machine and vice versa because Unity abstracts a lot of the low-level hardware details of whether you're on a Mac or PC or using OpenGL or Vulkan or Metal or whatever. And although my course is meant to be a general introduction to shader coding that you could apply to any engine or the engines you might write yourself, Unity is something of an industry standard, so I found it is useful for students to have it on their resume. Now, I have been critical of Unity's chaotic technical direction, particularly regarding their fragmentation of the rendering pipeline, for quite a while now. But this... This is something entirely different. I really don't feel comfortable teaching using a tool that I wouldn't recommend that anyone use in a professional industrial context. And it's sad because there are a lot of talented and dedicated people working at Unity. Its founders had a vision and they executed on that vision brilliantly and they changed the industry. Remember back in the day, 
that high-end game engine licenses could cost tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars per game. The reason that the Unreal Engine is so accessible now is because Unity pushed Epic Games in that direction. But now Unity is suffering under terrible corporate leadership. Anyway, it looks like it's time for me to check out some other game engines. Leave a comment with your thoughts below.